In the last video, we looked at how to copy and move objects within a document and between a document. Now I want to show you how to resize and delete the objects. We'll insert one first, and it's always easier to work with a piece of clip art. So I'm just going to select the clip art icon, search for Fox, find a picture. Scroll down till you find one you like the look of, and there's our image. So I click on there. Remember, it goes exactly where your cursor was. Just close that down, make it easier to see. It goes exactly where your cursor was, and last time we looked at moving that image by clicking and dragging. We also looked at moving it using the icons to cut and then to paste. And we also used copy to copy the image and make a duplicate. So we have two images. Finally, we talked about if you select an object, then we get the picture toolbar, and from there we can alter the wrapping so the text will flow around the object rather than it being stuck in between two characters on the keyboard, on the document. That allows you to move the object around and the text will flow around the outside of it. So what we're going to look at now is how to delete objects that you don't want and how to resize them. This is the object I want to keep. I don't need this one anymore. So deleting it is really, really simple. And that is, select the object, find the delete key on your keyboard and press it. Simple as that. The delete key is the one that has the letters D-E-L on it. So you find the image, select it, press the delete. If you really wanted to, you could use a menu shortcut for that, and that is edit, clear, and then contents. And that will remove it as well. But you can see the keyboard shortcut just to the right of it says D-E-L. That's the key you're looking for on your keyboard. It's a lot easier just to click the key. There, it's gone. So that's delete sorted. Okay, resizing an image. If I select the image, you'll notice around the outside of it, there are grab handles. Sometimes the black squares, sometimes the, the circles. If they are black, it means that the character is in line. Um, and if they are circles like this, it means that it's free flowing. The text is wrapping around the outside of it. <clears throat> we can resize using this method. Any one of these icons around the outside, you can click and drag to change the shape and size of the image. For example, this one here, if I click and drag down, I'll make the image less tall. But it squashes the image. So you do have to be careful. If I undo that, if I go from the left side or the right side and click and drag, it makes it smaller that way. Again, it squashes it. So I'm just pointing to one of the icons, grab handles around the outside, grab it by clicking and drag to make the object bigger. But as you can see, it's very easy to distort it. I tend to advise people, if they just want to do a little bit of movement, just to click and drag from the corners. You'll notice when you're doing that, it's very difficult to distort it. It won't go out of proportion. So I tend to use always the corner to resize. And it doesn't matter which corner. Just click and drag. So I don't tend to use those middle ones unless you have a reason to squash it down. Use the corners. But there is a better way. And that's by using the properties. And the reason I'm saying it's a better way is because using this method of clicking and dragging, you don't know what size it is. You're not in control of exact measurements. Using the next method, you can dial up an exact size for your image. So we'll have a look at that. We need to have a look at the properties of the image. More than one way to do it. If you point to the image and do right click, then we can get format picture. You can also, as long as you've got the image selected, select format on the menu and down to picture. So two different ways of formatting the picture. Actually, there's a third way. You can double click the picture itself. There's three ways of doing it. Whichever way you choose, 
right click menu double click it brings up the format picture dialog box and there's all kinds of things you can do on here but I'm only going to show you the size tab the size tab is where we can alter the size of the object we've got the height and we've got the width and we can use the arrows at this side to alter those dimensions up and down or we can actually click inside and type three centimeters for example so let's make some very obvious changes I'm going to change this to a width of one centimeter and then click OK you can see that's made the image very small I double click the image to bring the properties back up click on the size tab and there's the width has been altered but what happens is as you alter one of the dimensions either the width or the height the other changes as well it keeps it in proportion I'll show you what I mean if I want to alter the height to say two centimeters I'm just going to use the arrows as I'm clicking these you'll notice that the height changes as I go up towards two centimeters but look also the width is changing as well the computer is automatically keeping it in proportion so there's about two centimeters it's keeping it in proportion click on OK and there we have it it's perfectly sized two centimeters put in proportion double click again or oh, let's choose right click this time and format picture just to show you it's the same method there's the same dialog box click on size there's the dimensions height and width so if you alter the height the width changes if you alter the width the height changes but what happens if you don't want that to happen perhaps you want the image to be a certain size and not in proportion well you can do that but what you have to do is remove this tick from this tick box it's called lock aspect ratio the default is for that to be on and that's what it does it locks the ratio between the height and the width so if you don't want those to be maintained we simply tick the click simply take the tick out of the box by clicking and then as we change the dimensions of the height for example the width doesn't change so let's make this an exact size I'm going to make this five centimeters high and I'm going to make it three centimeters wide click on OK and there you can see the image slightly distorted but that's the effect that I wanted so you choose when you are altering the dimensions you can use the grab handles you can use the corners if you want to keep it into proportion but if you want an exact measurement choose the properties by either right clicking or double click get the format picture dialog box select size dial up the size that you want the object to be and remember do you need to lock that aspect ratio locking it means your picture will stay in proportion unlocking it means it'll go to whatever size you decide